Hello, hi everyone. Wow, hi everyone. I'm Valeria and I've been a, a certified facilitator for Access since like 2017. And uh, from 2019, I've been like a um, TTTA facilitator. And a few hours ago, I was like thinking about what contribution I could be and share it here with you. And the very first thing that showed itself was a sense of total expansion and joy. And this is what really this, what really these tools have brought and continue to bring into my life more and more. And uh, as a child, uh, um, if I have to look to my story as a child, I was uh, really much in contact with, more in contact with entities than with people, but without uh, any idea of how to deal with it and uh, what really I was dealing with. I've always had a great perception of energies and entities, but none of the people around me had any idea of what it was and also how to help me. So over the years, this became a state of like profound discomfort that I did not know how to manage and to which I succumbed. And when I came in contact with many entities altogether, I had a very strong uh, like crisis and started going in therapy to to cure, to heal what I didn't recognize as a gift at the time with the result of receiving like diagnosis, but not truly effective tools. And uh, when I met Access, I really started to work on recognizing what I was aware of rather than uh, collapsing into judgment about myself and how misfit and incapable I was of living a normal life. And as I was telling in 2019, I like, I take, I took this big choice of participated to my first Talk to the Entities Summit in Paris to become a CF. And uh, I remember at that time, my mother uh, had recently been ill with a very serious cancer. And while I was in Paris, at a certain point, I began to feel, instead of pain and anguish, a sort of bomb of joy opened it in my heart. And the awareness that having a body not having one, being in one dimension or another, that wasn't really the point. We constantly communicate with all dimensions, times, spaces, and we are truly in a magical dimension where things can be perceived and received and where it's possible to cooperate and to, yes, to include it all. And during that summit, we had a day off between the advanced class and the facilitator class. And I went to Euro, Euro Disney. And I remember there looking at the like, fairy tale town all around me, I felt the concreteness of magic again, even in the world of adults, even in my daily life. And I remember that was the point I really welcomed this magic again in my life. Shortly after, in October, my mom passed away and I had uh, one of the most profound experiences of peace and connection that I could remember. And also a really funny thing that a few days after her death my mother came to me and I and she was very angry and I asked her what was wrong and she complained about the mess that my brother left in the house and when I went to him at his house my mother house 
it was really a mess. So I told him like a joke in a lightly, light-hearted way. And my mother finally relaxed. So for me, it, it was wonderful to see how normal and simple communication with entities can be. Because we always think, of, at least I always thought, that if an entity contacts you, is to tell you the truth or to say something fundamental. But instead, maybe it's just to say hello or that they like uh, how a dress fits. And it's truly, it's truly relaxing to be able to, to delve more and more into this dimension of receiving, where you learn uh, how to be energetically congruent with what you are. I, I've heard a lot of times Shannon talking about this congruency and I was like, okay, what, what is it exactly? And I start, then I started to really experience it. it. It's like a congruent, an energetic, and co something which is energetic and congruently between what you are, what you say and what you do. And then uh, you start start learn to cleanse energies, perhaps of a place or with a person, or to restore clarity in many areas uh, in our life, which in our world happen with no awareness at all. So uh, these tools are really, really pragmatic. Is is not not just to I'm talking with entities, with people passed away, but it's really uh, to improve something that can pragmatically change your life at all. And I, I don't know if you're super expert in dealing with and communicate with energies and entities, if you use energy to, to follow what's true for you, but or is it's really the first time you hear about all this stuff but what I, I warmly invite you is just to be curious and find out what these tools can be for you and what can you be for all the energies and all the entities around you and in the world planet. Because it's like when we are willing to really perceive what we are aware of, um, the life starts to change dynamically and uh, you can really trust something that is not outside you. You have a kind of tom-tom uh, uh, <laughs> which always knows not the right direction or the right choice but what is nurturing instead of uh, something that your mind decides that is true or right. And so it's really, what if we can all give us this chance of being really in contact to what we know and uh, really what what invite can this be for the planet, for all the people, for the future of consciousness? And uh, what if the magic is our daily life and we just have to reconnect with this uh, dimension? So, wow, well, I hope to see you soon maybe in a talk to the entities class and uh, a big kiss from me and goodbye <laughs>